Now, I know we're all holding our breaths, waiting to see what's going to ultimately end up happening with Kevin Durant. Where is he going to be playing next season? Could he potentially be in a Brooklyn Nets uniform come the start of next season? Could there be a trade during the season? We just don't know. And that is the main point of this video. We have absolutely no idea what's going to end up happening with Kevin Durant and the Brooklyn Nets. The reason for this video is to talk about the odds and how drastically they have shifted in the last couple of weeks. So to start the offseason, we had the Brooklyn Nets plus 600 at Caesar Sportsbook. That's what they opened at to start the offseason. And then they started to trickle up because we weren't sure what was going on with Kyrie Irving. Was he going to opt in? Was he going to opt out? So prior to opting in, the Brooklyn Nets set up plus 900. Then they moved down to plus 750 as soon as he opted in. A few days later, the bomb drops on us that Kevin Durant has requested a trade. Absolutely insane. They soared to 35 to 1. There's a million rumors swirling. Things are You're reading different articles different days. Could this team make it happen? Could that team make it happen? The odds on July 5th were as high as 50 to 1. All of a sudden, they dropped to 25 to 1. 77% of the tickets, 94% of the money came in on the Brooklyn Nets to win it all on July 5th. So what happened on that day? Well, for one, the odds makers, when you have that many tickets, that much money coming in on a, a particular team, they become a major liability. So they obviously are going to shift the odds, make them less in hopes that people would stop betting into that market. On top of that, there are reports out there that Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant could potentially be in a Brooklyn Nets uniform come opening night if a trade does not get done. Obviously, nothing's happened just yet. I feel like things might have moved a little bit quicker, but teams might be trying to figure things out. But the Brooklyn Nets are going to wait until the best possible deal that they can make is going to be able to obviously come to fruition. So if I was betting into this market right now, which I wouldn't, and I guess my advice is I would not bet on the Brooklyn Nets in any shape, way, or form right now. You do not want to do that. We don't know what's going to ultimately end up happening. We don't know about Kevin Durant. We don't really know what's happening with Kyrie Irving as well. Obviously, he's he's been he's been up and down. If there's one player that's up and down, I, I believe it's Kyrie Irving. But nonetheless, as somebody who obviously works in this industry, do not bet on the Brooklyn Nets. The NBA futures in general, wait till closer to the season, see where each major player is going to be uh, obviously playing, and then make your conclusions. You can always bet on the NBA futures throughout the entire season. We have a long way to go until next season NBA Finals. I mean, we are in summer league right now, ladies and gentlemen. So that is my advice. That's how the odds have shifted. They're currently 20 to 1 on Caesar Sportsbook. And I hope this video helped you. And if it did, please rate, review, subscribe. I guess that's a tagline for all these YouTube videos.